In this video, I will be showing you the question answering application I created using Streamlit. So for today's agenda, first I will go over the objective. After that, I will go through the components for the project. Then I will do a architecture breakdown. After that, I will do a quick demonstration. And then lastly, I will do a code walkthrough. So for our objective, customers want to be able to have a conversation with their documents. So this Streamlit application allows you to do so by creating a front end to showcase the retrieval augmented generation architecture. So for the components, VS Code is the code editor of choice. Python is my preferred programming language for this project. OpenAI is where we generated an API key. In Pinecone, we use to also generate another API key for authentication and authorization purposes. Chroma is the vector database we used. Langchain is the framework built around large language models. And Streamlit is where we created our front end for our application. Now I'm going to go over the architecture. So first we have the process of ingestion. With ingestion, the document is loaded via the document loader. The document is then broken down into chunks so the content can process properly. Those chunks are then turned into embeddings, which are numbers, and then the numeric representation gets stored in the vector database. After ingestion, we have retrieval. So the query, which is our question, is turned into embeddings and it does a similarity search of your query to the document chunks in the vector database. Then we have the top K documents, which are this top specified number of documents that best relates to your query. Lastly, we have the process of synthesis. So the query along with the retrieved documents are sent to the large language model and the large language model will take the information and generate a response to the given query. So now for my demo, I'm going to run this command. And it will open my application. There's a few things I have to do before I can ask any questions about the document. So first I need to enter my OpenAI API key. Then I'm going to browse my files. I'm going to do mine on this Churchill speech. And I'm going to click add data. So now we know that it was embedded successfully. So the first question I am going to ask is what is the speech about? But I'm going to be specific in mentioning the file name. And our output is, based on the provided text, it appears to be a speech or discussion about the importance of having free and restricted discussions in the House of Commons without fear of military secrets being revealed to the enemy. So this is the Winston Churchill speech. Next, I'm going to try a different file. So now I'm going to browse files to the U.S. Constitution. I'm going to add the data. And the question I'm going to ask is what was the second amendment in the US Constitution? Again, being specific with the file name. And we're gonna let that run. So here's our output. So this is the output. The Second Amendment in the document is as follows. Second Amendment, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. I will only be doing a code walkthrough for the streamlit portion. The RAG portion can be found in my other RAG video, which will be linked in my description. So to start off, first we are displaying our image 
for the application, which is here. After that, we are setting the subheader for the application. Then we are creating a sidebar for the user input, which is here. After that, we will use text input to get the open API key from the user. And then if the user has entered an API key, we set it in the environment variable. Here we are allowing the user to upload the file. After that, this creates a number input widget for selecting the chunk size. Then this will create a number input for the variable K. And then we are creating a button labeled add data. And if you click the button, it will trigger the clear history function. So that's our button here that we created. So here, this condition checks whether the user has entered a question. And if that condition is true, the code inside the block is executed. After that, here, if the user entered a question and hit enter, this condition basically checks if the vector store is present in the streamlit session state. The vector store is expected to contain embeddings of the uploaded and processed file. If the vector store is present, this code retrieves it from the session and displays the value of K and generates an answer to the user's question using the ask and get answer function. So here, this line displays the model's answer in a text area widget. And then this adds a visual divider to separate the different sections in the Streamlit app. And then lastly, this block of code manages the chat history. And so if there is no chat history in the session state, it initializes an empty string. Then it will add the current question and answer to the history separated by a line of dashes. Thank you everyone for watching and please like and subscribe for more content and if you have any questions comment them down below or feel free to email me.